afternoon. My name is Molly Strickland. I'm a student here at the University of Arkansas, and today we're going to be taking our UARC Home Live tour at Yoke, or Holcomb Hall at 2 p.m. So we're just currently outside, just wanting to show you all a little bit about what's your neighbors. So we're right across the street. We're on Garland right here. Right across the street, we have Pat Walker Health Center, which is currently being under construction. So that's why we're going to... all the loud noise. It's the loud yeah. noise. And then you're going to have the Fulbright Dining Hall, which is your nearest dining hall. So you'll go there for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Super good stir fry. You'll want to check that out. And then this weird building over there, that is Garland Parking Garage. And it's also the bookstore. And you have a small mart over there. So if you need to get any groceries and... You know, you can go there for your campus books before you move in. That would be the best place to go. So we're going to head inside since it's super loud out here. So Let's do it. Yeah. Let's head inside. Sounds good. All right. What's also okay. cool about this hall is it holds the office for international students and scholars. We're even going to stop um, it and say hello. So we will stop it and say hello. We're just going to go down here. We're going to see a study room first. It's a 24 hours quiet room. You can come in here if you have group projects, if you have, you know, you just want to have some quiet time because your women can get loud. I think we're going to have to be fobbed in yeah, right yeah, here. Mm -hmm. So that's something super nice for you parents. You have to fob in. That front door you don't have to since you don't have to fob in. I think it's between 9 and 5. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you don't have to fob in because it is the office for international students and scholars. Sure. But every other door you're going to have to fob in, which means if you ever want your friends to come in and hang out, you need to come downstairs to let them in. This room is very yellow. Very yellow. Bright and happy because, you know, sometimes studying can just make you lose your, lose your mind. So we have some study rooms in here with desks and tables. And mm -hmm. um, we have some space out here for group projects. So depending on your classes, you'll have a lot. I had three classes last year where I had group projects. Sure. Hey, tell us a little bit about you. I'm an advertising and public relations major. Uh -huh. I'm minoring in marketing. I should be a sophomore in the fall, but I've actually done so much credit from high school and just this summer that I will be a junior. So I'm super excited. I hope to move to New York when I graduate and I'm actually the marketing and strategic communications intern for housing. So you are indeed. And your tour guide. Okay. So we have another study room in here. We have another study room in here. Did you do a lot of studying? Obviously you did. <laughs> Obviously. Skipping a year. I did really good. I have a 3.6 GPA. Oh, okay. No bragging. No bragging. <laughs> 24 hour quiet hours. So this is actually Second a very quiet room, difficult. as you said. Yeah. So quiet hours, 24 hours. So mm -hmm. no talking in here whatsoever. If you want to go talk, um, I would suggest just going back to your dorm room. Or if you want to go to Mullins Library, which is on more in the center of campus. It's Mullins a, what? Mullins Library. Yeah. I have a speech impediment. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> what, what would you do at Mullins Library? Um, Mullins Library, it's four stories. You have the basement, which is complete utter silence. Mm -hmm. You have the first floor, which is basically your computer labs. Um, they also have some group study rooms that you can rent out if you just go to the library's website. Mm -hmm. Second floor is no talking. Third floor, which is the top floor, is going to be the talking zone, which is where you could have found me um, because I cannot keep quiet while studying. <laughs> um, so we'll just go and explore yeah. a main kind of area where we can come out and relax and chill. Exactly. It's super nice in here. It, it's very homey, you know. Mm. We'll just walk through here real quick. Sure. This is just going to be a small little kitchen, you know. Yeah. If you want to put something in the fridge, you want to heat something up in the microwave. You got a fridge to microwave. Yeah. Fridge and microwave, you can definitely do that. And right here is when it starts to get really cool. Mm -hmm. So we have a trophy case right here. Um, we have just a little lounge area, and we have a piano mm -hmm. right here. Um, super cool. I wish I knew how to play it. However, I'm not musically gifted. <laughs> I played clarinet in middle school. That's about it. Did you? Were you in beginner band? <sighs> yes, I was. I did it all the way up till eighth grade, so I could go to Silver Dollar City and play. Silver Dollar City. <laughs> so this is another just cool, kind of relaxing room. Yeah. A big, huge open room where you can come and sit down, and hang out with all of your friends. This definitely the room. What I like so much about it is not only the bright yellow walls makes makes it all happy, but it also just feels like home. You know, it doesn't feel like a traditional hall or, you know, what you imagine what college would be like. It just looks like your regular old living room. And it has it's a fireplace. Nice that way. Yeah, as a matter of fact, that we 
Uh, mind if I say hello to you, Eric? Hey. Hey, tell us what you tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm Eric Feltier. I'm the CRE for here in Holcomb Hall. Um, I help oversee this. I help over, work with the RAs and stuff like that. Um, so, and I actually live here in this building. So. And what is an RA? Not everyone has to that. Um, the RAs are our student staff members. They live. Mm -hmm. We have two on each floor here in Holcomb. Um, they help out with anything that you need. They're they're a really great resource if you need help with trying to get connected on campus. If you have need help with study tips or any really anything you need to get adjusted to, or if you just need help. Yeah. Sure. I sure. Don't know how many times I said help. Mm -hmm. This room right here, would you use this room for programming, or is it yeah. more the room so, downstairs? This room, this is, we call it the living room. It's definitely a much more formal um, space, um, but we have our um, Holcomb Geography Series programs are in here, or our Global Series programs will happen in here. Um, we'll work with the International Students and Scholars Office. They'll have different programs in here. Um, the furniture moves around and stuff like that. Actually, we have RSOs too, so a registered student organization, mm -hmm. um, typically based around a culture um, or a nation. Um, they'll sign them out to do different programs, like we'll have a, a kickoff event for the Japanese Student Association or the Korean Student Association here on campus. Um, so a lot of programming happens in this yeah. particular room. And it seems like a lot of it's yeah, internationally based. Yeah, yeah. Um, Holcomb Hall is about forty percent to fifty percent on the depends on the year, depends on sort of uh, incoming international students. But about forty to fifty percent of the students who live in Holcomb are from are from overseas. Very nice, very good to know. Um, I guess we can take a look at the front desk. Yeah, let's head on over to the front desk. Okay. Now this is a co-ed building which holds about one hundred and five students. Um, it's super cool. Um, something about the front desk. You'll see downstairs when we go into inside the basement, there's like ping pong tables and there's a big kitchen area. So mm -hmm. typically someone's going to be working here and what you can do is you can come and you can rent out stuff like kitchen supplies or ping pong paddles if you want to go and have a battle. You'll rent them out here, you'll leave your student ID and then whenever you're done and you return the items, you can have your student ID back. So you don't need to bring anything. The biggest thing parents and students to know before moving in is you're going to want to have you're not gonna want to overcrowd yourself. You know, you want your space to be open. You can always buy stuff when you get here. This is Walmart USA, so just keep that in mind when moving in. Plenty of opportunities to buy once you're here in Fayetteville. Exactly, we have Walmart, we have Target, we have TJ Maxx, yeah. we have literally anything you could think of. We have some recycling space right there. Some yeah, recycling, like um, yeah. we also have the Office of International Students and Scholars back over here. Real quick, um, mail. mail. Did someone pick up mail here or quad. do they? Quads. Pick up your mail at quad. Okay, good. It does look really pretty though. Yeah, it's a nice That's little detail. It's still in there. It tells you how old this building back in 1949 sure. it was built. So, yeah, let's go ahead and explore the International Students and Scholars Office, mm -hmm. yeah. which is located right here on the first floor of Holcomb. Hey, how Hi. are you doing? Great, how are you guys? Just fine, what's your name? <laughs> I'm Kayla, I'm at the front desk here at the International Students and Scholars Office. We uh, contribute to the students that are visiting from other countries. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what are some of the functions that the International Students and Scholars Office performs for students, whether they're international or domestic? We perform um, just taking care of people that want to travel mm -hmm. and um, just directing people where to go if they're wanting to travel any exchange programs um, and visas that students need to obtain to go anywhere. Very cool, so a good place to check in if you're if you're gonna be studying abroad for the first time, but also if you're an international student may be coming, you need to know this address. Right, we can point you in the right direction for any assistance you need. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you very much for telling us a little bit about the International Students and Scholars Office. Thank you, guys. Great, so shall we head down to the first floor? Down. All right. Oh, it's right there. Oh. Yeah. Are you going the elevator? Or? Yeah. The elevator. Okay. So you do have to fall because this first floor, it is just for. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to go down in a second. Yeah, um, because go. it is, since the office is here, anyone can come in. Because international students may be living in a different dorm or a different hall. So that's why that lobby area is always open. But it's only open until 5. So after 5 p.m., you're going to have to fob in. Just keep that in mind whenever you're coming in. And, you know, your fob is connected to your keys. Do not lose that. It does cost money if you need to replace it. Um, and here is a, this is an exception. Usually our 
halls are all fob yeah. locked in. So the elevator, you do have to have a fob for it, and mm -hmm. there are stairs as well. Okay. Just gonna take y'all to the laundry room right here. Okay. So this is your laundry room, four dryers, four washers. Um, you can come down here and sit and do your laundry and do some homework while you wait. We mm -hmm. have some vending machines if you ever get hungry or thirsty. However, you have to pay for that out of pocket, which means bring cash, bring a card, or you can use Apple Pay, which you can actually do on your watch, which oh, is crazy. super cool. The future. Um, the future is now. The future is now. There is an ice vending machine, um, so if you ever need to come get ice, and we do have recycling. However, if you don't want to stay down here and wait for your laundry, we have this really cool laundry alert system. Mm -hmm. So What's what up? this is, is you can download the app on your phone, um, or you can just scan this QR code right here, and it's gonna tell you whenever your clothes are done washing, and you can switch them to the dryer, and then you can scan it again on the dryer, and it'll tell you when they're done. So you don't have to wait down here for your clothes to get done. Um, you can also do it on your computer, it always send you notifications on your phone, on your computer, um, and then it can also just send it, if you get the app, it'll just pop up. Okay. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, we will go right here uh -huh. where there's a sign, and the sign will tell you everything you need to know. Nice. Good so something that, that, to know. That lives there. It lives right here. Um, it just tells you how to do it online if you don't want to do it on your phone. I would suggest using your phone though because we always have our phones. Mm -hmm. so. This will save you a trip, like if you're up on the top floor and you know you want to go wash your clothes, you can just check online and see if one's yeah. open. You don't have to schlep everything down here and then find out that it is not open. I'm going to go back down this yeah. way. Try not to get confused when you're moving in. I know it's different, it's not a scenery that you're used to, but it won't take that much time. Sure. Now, which hall did you live in? I lived in Yoga Mall. Okay. Um, that's more towards the business college, and that's actually why I chose that hall is because that's where all I knew all of my classes were going to be. Gotcha. Yeah. We've got a few people tuned in. Hey, nice to have you tune in. Feel free yeah. to um, ask any questions or tell us um, where you're from. Yeah, where are you from? I'm from Rogers, mm -hmm. um, 30 minutes up the road, if y'all everyone to go and just get away from Fayetteville a little bit. We have really good shopping up there and some food. It's really growing. Um, down here is just a really cool lounge area where you can sit down, watch some movies. Um, we have a pool right here. We do have, I'm mind blank. That is foosball. Thank you. Foosball. Come on now. I'm so bad. Which I one's your favorite? You like ping pong? You ping like pong, pool ping or feet? You're a ping pong. That's your mm. game. I don't. Okay. I don't actually know how to play pool. I pretend like I do, but I really don't. <laughs> um, ping pong's definitely my favorite. There's going to be two ping pong tables, and like we said earlier, you can always go upstairs, and where that front desk is, you can rent out the ping pong paddles. Yeah. You don't have to pay for it or anything. You just leave your student ID to make sure that you're returning it. You'll have to pay if you do keep them. So. Eric, would you say this is more of a hang space than the other places, or which places are most people just kind of hanging out? I would say this this space because it's actually the only place where we have a community TV in mm, Holcomb. Okay. Um, yeah, I would say probably this space because it's definitely with the living room with the programming that happens up in the living room. People will hang out there and stuff like that from time to time. Mm -hmm. um, but this is probably more I won't say private, but like more set away from the hustle and bustle of the upstairs. Will you do me a, fa a favor, Eric? Will you say hello to Vicky from San Antonio? Hello, Vicky. From San Antonio. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, what else do we want to see on this floor? Hi, Vicky from San Antonio. <laughs> um, right here. I didn't know if we saw this earlier. Oh yeah, that's a nice table. But we're gonna have a nice table where again you can come play some cards. You know. Yeah. That's always fun. Play some slapjack. Slapjack. Um, BS. That's always a good one. Those are good card games. <laughs> Golf is my favorite. Golf? Golf. It's a weird card game. So right here, if uh -huh. we enter in, it's going to be our kitchenette. Okay. So we're going to have our fridge right here with a freezer. So basically this area is nice. If you ever get kind of sick of the dining hall food, which you can sometimes, come here. You can actually cook yourself something or you can just put in a frozen pizza, of course, too. So you have our stove right here and you have our microwave. Mm -hmm. So you do have two microwaves. We showed one earlier at the beginning of this video. So if you don't want to bring one, that's okay because there's two here. It's always nice something 
to know because you want to have as much space in your room as you possibly can. Sure, um, absolutely. I cooked frozen pizza here. I cooked sugar cookies. It's actually really fun. So, Any ramen? Did you ever cook any ramen? I hate ramen. Okay, well, that's good to know. No, I'm the world's no ramen for you, okay. World's pickiest eater. I wish I liked lettuce, but I just don't. Gotcha. Um, I believe... I think we're headed back upstairs back. now, yeah. We'll go back to the elevator where you have to bob in again, like mm -hmm. I said, because security is number one here on campus. We'll head up to the second floor and look at the restroom there. Yeah, and you know, right now we're about to go tour the restroom, we're about to tour our room, so parents, students, whoever's tuning in, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to write that in the comment box, um, and we'll answer them to the best of our ability. Here to answer. So, we're... So what's been your favorite class so far? My favorite class has been my media and society class. Um, I'm a, advertising and public relations is journalism here. So I had my teacher, Miss Kara Gold. She was so fun. Shout out to Miss Kara Gold. <laughs> Shout out to Dr. Kara Gold. Um, it was a 200 person class, it was really big, but I learned so much in it and it made me realize this is the degree for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I loved it so much and it was fantastic. And which way is the restroom? There's actually one on each end. There's, there's a restroom on each end. Totally our choice. Okay. Totally our choice. Okay. Aha. Anyone in here? Okay. okay. Looks looks empty, which Completely is good. That's empty. what we want. We don't want to walk so, in on anybody. <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> when we first walk in, you're going to see four or five showers. My bad. Mm -hmm. Five showers. So when you step into a shower, you're going to have a little bit of changing space right here. Um, something really useful is have a shower caddy, you know, you want something, you don't want to carry all of your shampoo by yourself. So have a shower caddy that you can put everything in. Also shower shoes. The bathrooms get cleaned daily, but sometimes it can get disgusting. Like girls are hair sheds, you know, um, that's just something to really keep in mind. And a towel wrap, it's always nice. And of course, just a regular towel. So you're on team shower shoes. Team shower shoes. Okay. Literally, if you want to get the $3 ones at Old Navy, that's good. I had some, they call them Jesus sandals. I mm -hmm. got those, they were six bucks. Um, so this is gonna be your shower. It's a little bit, a little small, but that's all you need. You don't need a giant shower. The water is always hot. That is a false tale of people telling you that it's cold. It's always hot. And you do have shelves right here where you can put any of your shampoo or conditioners. Absolutely, so shower yeah. caddy, shower shoes, you're good to go. Definitely, if you- What shower cap? I mean, shower cap, but I didn't use one. <laughs> um, so these are going to be just some regular old bathrooms right here. Mm -hmm. There's going to be five toilets, and we got one, two, three, four, five sinks. Yeah. Four or five toilets. And Eric was telling us that there's one of these on each uh, side. Yeah. So, which is nice. You can enter in from two doors right here. So you can enter in. I mean, this says it's for men only. I'm sorry, I'm in here. <laughs> um, we will go to our room now. Mm -hmm. Go up to third. Okay. We'll use the elevator. Alright. Because leg day was yesterday. I don't think I can walk a flight of stairs. Yeah, I'm glad this, I'm glad this all has an elevator that goes <laughs> up and down. We're going to go up to three. So, yeah, we're excited that y'all are going to be here in the fall. It's a great place to be. Um, one of the famous things is Dixon Street. Um, Dixon Street kind of leads up towards the university. Um, really good food down there. We have the Walton's Art Center. You can go see some plays. If you had to recommend one place for them to eat mm. off campus, what would it be? It's a tie between our Sega's and um, Wasabi. Depends on if you want like traditional kind of American food and really good crepes with cinnamon, weird drinks, I have no idea what it is. Um, or if you want it, sushi. So Razorback right. Roll is a good one. Yeah. Those are the choices. So Very good. We are 318. 318. Mm -hmm. On down here. Should be on our right. Here's a little study room. Let's just stop yeah. and see this. Yeah, um, maybe an over room fl flow or over room. room. Yes. Over room. Yeah. Go ahead you and know uh, what I'm trying open to say. the door if you can. 
so let's check it out real quick. Just a nice little study area, which is super nice for you parents. You know, if your kids ever wanted to get out of their room because their roommate's being too loud or they just can't study in their room, it's a really good place to go and, you know, just kind of hang out. This may be, like I said, an overflow room, which is a tongue twister. <laughs> um, so we'll just wait on that one. 318. It's coming up. Ta-da. So if you are room 318, this is your room. This is your day. room. <laughs> All right. Let's see it. Yeah. So the nice thing about this room is everything's going to be movable furniture. So you completely can adjust this room however you want. Our suggestion, and just from doing this experience, but I would just leave it how it is. You know, you don't really want to adjust everything because they already adjust it to give you the most amount of space that you can. Yeah. So we have two beds right here. Ooh, nice um, pan here. A really cool desk drawer right here where you can open it up. Um, if you want to put any valuables in there, all you have to do is close it turn that and put a lock right there so then it's locked. Um, and then you're gonna have a desk right here with a chair. Mm -hmm. Something really cool about this chair though. If you have a lot of friends coming into your room because it's college and we're meeting a lot of friends, you can remove this chair. Ta-da! And you got yourself a rocker chair. Nice. You also just have like a regular kind of stool looking chair that someone can sit down in, so a lot of space for people to come and hang out in your room. Mm -hmm. um, we also have three drawers right here. You can put your t-shirts, shorts, whatever you want in, and then we also have a closet. So inside of our closet, which you might want to... Pretty good bit of space in there, it looks like. Got a little bit of space, and you do have some shelves on this side. So that's something super nice about it. You can always put your shoes over here. That would be my suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, you have a little hook right here, so if you ever wanted to put your, um, what would I put here, like my jacket or like my shower robe, I would put that there. And something that's really nice and I wish I had is you have a mirror. So girls, you don't have to worry about your outfit not matching because you you can see it. You have a mirror on the back of the door. You have a mirror. Right there. And there's space up above as well, it looks like. Yes, there's space up above. Ooh, kind of short. <laughs> so there's some space up above where you can put things. Um, right. I always put, I had food and I put it in the basket. I would put it up there. Um, and I put, I put my textbooks up there. You don't always use all of your textbooks. So sure. don't unwrap anything until you go to class and know that you actually need your textbook. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Sometimes I only use one book out of the five classes. It looks like we have some control over air conditioning. Here. Yeah. So Is that right, Eric? Eric? What's that? The, um, the th thermostat here. Yeah. Does it give you control over the... For the most part, yeah. Okay. You can go up and down. There's, there's a range. Gotcha. Gotcha. And that's that's preset awesome. into it, but there's a range. But you, you've got some adjustability there yeah, when it comes so. to the temperature. Okay, fantastic. Eric was talking something earlier about RAs here. So you'll have an RA on every floor. My suggestion is really get to know them. You know, I loved my RA. We were complete opposites, but... She was a shout so out nice. to your Who's Rachel. Your Love you, there Rachel. You um, she's so cool. We ended up being in a class together. So it was super nice that we already had a connection and we were nice and we were friends. And when we had class together, we were able to help each other and share each other's notes because it was an upperclassman class and it can get really hard sometimes. Absolutely. So, super cool. Well, are there any questions for us as long as we're in the room right yeah. here? Any measurements we can take for you? Why don't we go ahead and measure the beds? Yeah, of course. The bed, we'll go to this one since my tape measure is over ah, right here. We use that tape measure. Let's see if you want. Um, we're going to be at 36 across. Okay. And I'm just, it's a one man show right here, so yeah. bear with me. It may be a little bit more, a little bit less, but it's going to be about 76. Okay, okay, about yeah. 76 is about right. 76, so. 77. Perfect, perfect, okay. Well, if there's nothing else and no other questions, then we'll go ahead and sign off. Yeah, so just to let y'all know, we do have even more York Home Live tours. Uh, we have one about moving 2017, how to prep for all of that. And we do have one about the campus dining here. There's three dining halls on campus. Um, there's some meal traits that you can do. And then there's one about prepping your tech. So, in every room, you can plug in a TV and connect to it if you want. You can get unlimited cable. You got the HBOs, which is 
the big holy grail, so you can watch it. I mean, Game of Thrones, right? I mean, just came back. Game of Thrones, winter is back. Yes. Um, I don't watch that show. I just saw everyone tweeting about it. So it's something really cool, and we hope this is a really easy transition for y'all. Um, feel free to ask any questions if you're watching this after fact. We can sure help you in any way that we can. Um, for even more measurements, you can also go to housing.uark.edu. Um, and they have a complete listing of all the measurements. So, yeah. Under the campus communities section. Campus communities and click Hokum Hall. Okay. Yeah. So, Thank we're excited. You. Yeah. See ya.